In this video, I will walk you through on how to install an open source support ticket system. Now this is one of the most popular free ticket systems that you can find currently and it is called OS Ticket and you can find it by going to this URL or this website www.osticket.com and right now I'm in the downloads area and let's download the latest version over here in zip file. Now I will unzip the file Okay, there you go Let's double click on this folder Now you can see all the files are in this folder And this folder over here, upload You will upload all the files which can be found only in this folder And you will not upload the files which are other than the folder in the upload folder like the scripts, license and readme, you do not need to upload them now let's proceed to the installation document you can go to the installation document by clicking on this link OS Ticket Community Wiki and it will bring you to this page to the home page actually I'm sorry to this page okay now for installation, just click on this installation link over here and over here, they have the rough guide on how to install the script on your server. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is, we need to have a MySQL database. Let's go to cPanel. This is cPanel account. Click on MySQL database. Now let's create a new database. Just name it as OS Ticket. Click on Create Database. We are done. Now we need to create a user. So let's say username is my own name. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four. Optionally, you can also click on this Generate Password button over here and the cPanel will create a random password for you and which is more secured. So once you are done, just click on Create User over here. Now we are done. We have the password 1234567. Let's go back. And now we need to add the user to the database. So since we only have one user and one database, so click on this Add button. Now over here, just click on this All Privileges, check this box, and click on Make Changes. Okay, there you go, and we are done. So this is the user, which is vmv underscore Amir, and the database is vmv underscore OS Ticket. Now that we are done, let us upload all the files to our server. Now I will open up my FTP account and I will go to type in my website domain and let's log in. Close this. Okay. And there you go. Now let's go to the main directory which is the public underscore html folder over here double click okay this is the main directory now we have to decide on the name of the directory where you want to install the os ticket script so let's say the name is support so right click and i will create a new folder with the name support so i will upload all the files into this folder or this directory okay we are done let's double click on the folder that we have just created and there you go you can see it's empty over here now let's find the folder the OS ticket folder there you go this the left hand side is my computer or the remote um, 
location the right hand side is the server location so this is the folder you can see here I will double click and there you go this is the folder where we need to upload the files so double click again and there you go let's upload all the files into this um, location over here support okay so I will just click once and click the shift button of my keyboard shift button and just click on the last or the final fi file that you can find in the directory so click and there you go now let's drag I can either drag all the files to this window or just click on this upload button so let's upload okay while we're waiting for it to upload I will pause this video okay we are done now let's see the doc installation document now we need to write we need to make this file ostconfig.php writable so that we can modify it now we need to change permission or the settings for to this file so let's find this file ostconfig.php there you go this is the file so we need to change the permission uh, and for uh, as for smart FTP we will right click on the file go to properties and we will change the permission here to 777 so that it will be writable then click OK okay it's done and the next step is we simply need to run the this setup folder so I will just copy this URL right click copy open a new tab paste and type in your domain name where you install the script and the name of the folder over here or the name of the directory of the script so like I've shown you just now I created the name as uh, support so this is my name the folder name if yours is different then just change this section change to the name and once we are done just click on enter and there you go we will be displayed we are now displayed with a few inst basic installation fields where we need to fill in vital information regarding the server and the script so the help desk title this is the default name you can of course change to whatever name that you want and the web path to OS ticket so you can see mine has it has already um, placed the correct URL which is my domain name forward slash support and the system email just type in your own email and this is important the username password now we uh, you will want to create your own username and password for you to enter the admin area of this script so let's say you name it as admin and the password as one two three okay then type in again and also type in again your email address okay this section is important um, OST underscore this is by default and if you don't understand this section just leave it as it is because this will create the MySQL table prefix and host name most servers have local host as the host name so if yours is different you need to check with your own web hosting provider now this is the vital part MySQL database name use uh, username and the password now in the earlier part of the video we have um, created a MySQL database a MySQL username and a password so you can see over here the name of the MySQL database is vmv underscore OS ticket okay so let's tap in now the username if you can recall it is this section over here vmv underscore Amir which is my name so just type in and the password I type in as one two three four five six seven which I also specify the password over here when I created the MySQL database so all the details 
and all the information that you need to 